Hey guys, today I got two pretty cool, pretty rare, not crazy rare, but pretty rare games, kind of rare I guess. I wanted to get the set. I had, um, I already had Mega Man Legends 1 and 2 for the United States, but I wanted to get the Japanese version of it. This is how the front of it looks. Uh, and they call it Rockman Dash in Japan. It's the front of the first Rockman, which is Mega Man Legends. Can't understand a word of it, but it's pretty good neat. Now the manuals are what is really kind of cool. And the layout is exactly the same. But in the game and everything. But uh the manuals are a lot more colorful. Here's a manual, the first one. It's a lot more pictures and everything. I noticed that in a lot of the Japanese games, they're not a lot of the US ones are in black and white or something. And the Japan ones are a lot more in color. But it's pretty cool overall. Just like you would expect, but it's a neat collector item. Now here we have Rockman Dash 2, Mega Man Legends 2. And this is a this was my favorite one, to be honest. And I'm pissed at Capcom because they never made the third one for the for the three ES douchebags, but whatever. But you know, here it is, back of it. Here's how it looks in the front and CD. And you know, here's the manual. Sulfur bottom. But this is a really good game. I really like this one. But unfortunately, I don't have a Japanese PlayStation 2, so I can't play it. But there is a way around it, and I've got it to play. You just, it's a little risky, you know, to damage a laser. But I'll show in another video how you can do it. Mostly, you probably know how to do it, but um, it's a way where you can uh, you trick it into thinking it's an American game, and it plays it. So with the eject button, not the, yeah, the. CD closed lid and stuff. You can do. There's a bunch of different ways. Probably the easiest is the pro action replay. But um, anyways, it's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. But thanks for checking this out. These are both two good games. Now I picked these up for twenty a piece, so forty dollars in all. Forty, forty-two dollars I think, including shipping and everything. But that's not too bad. And I was really happy with the purchase. Anyways, thanks guys. Later.